the absolute freshest bacon. Still kind of warm off the smoker, but we got to try a piece. Bacon. Pork belly. You know what bacon is? It's maybe one of the most popular meats in the entire world, at least in America, USA, right? Bacon's delicious, but basically what it is, is it's a cured pork belly. Let me show you. Look at this beautiful cut of bacon right here, right? Well, it's actually a pork belly. You might have not known this, but pork belly actually comes from the belly of a pig. Bet you didn't know that. What we're gonna do right now is we are gonna make homemade bacon. It's gonna be delicious and I hope it's gonna be the best thing I've ever eaten, maybe. Basically the concept is we have four different ingredients, not including the pork belly, with the pork belly is five ingredients. We're gonna be combining salt, curing salt, sugar, and pepper. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine them all into a bowl, mix it around, and then we're gonna sprinkle it on top of the pork belly. And then basically what happens is we put it inside a bag and let it sit in the fridge for about seven days. And each day we're gonna rotate it. All those salts and cures are gonna bring the juices out from the pork. So we're gonna take those juices and you just kind of massage the meat over the next seven days or so and just get it all embedded inside there. That's gonna help cure it into a delicious bacon cut. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the entire pork belly and we're gonna throw it in the smoker and smoke it till about 150 with hickory smoke, hickory pellets. Let's get started, let's make some bacon. Here we go, here are the ingredients. We have our pork belly right here. It's about two pounds. So I actually ordered a big old five pounder and the other about half of it. I'm actually making pork belly burnt ends right now which are on the smoker as we speak. The other half-ish is going to be bacon. So what we have here is one third of a cup of white sugar, two tablespoons of black pepper, three tablespoons of kosher salt, one teaspoon of pink curing salt. This is also known as prog powder number one. Now this stuff, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to overdo this. This is a curing salt, not a regular table salt. So we're gonna combine these three inside this bowl, right? Inside this container right here. Let's dump the salt, dump the pepper, and the curing salt. Now we're gonna take it and just mix it around real good in there. I think that's pretty good, pretty well mixed. I can't make it any different colors now. Now we're gonna take some of this new cure and we're gonna sprinkle every bit of it onto this pork belly. And we're gonna massage it in. See, I pretty much got every bit of this pork belly coated. All the edges, the back side, the fat side. So now we're gonna put this thing inside a big old Ziploc. Well, there we have it, guys, future bacon. This is going in the fridge now, and we'll be sitting there curing for the next seven days, and then we're smoking it and cooking it up. All right, seven days for me, milliseconds for you. Well, it's been one week and we have cured bacon-ish. The bacon's been cured now, but we still have to smoke it. So I'm gonna be using hickory smoke, hickory pellets on the pellet grill. We're using the Pit Boss 820 pellet grill. I'm gonna keep it on smoke mode, put a temperature probe inside the bacon and just monitor that temperature until the internal temp hits 150 and then that bacon will be completely done. Um, we want to eat the bacon tomorrow. We're going to make some delicious BLTs, but we need to get the bacon ready now. So I'm going to pull it out of the fridge. Let's take a look. I mean, I know it's not, not much to look at right now. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to rinse all that nitrate salt all the we're gonna rinse the curing salt um, the pepper and all that stuff off of it right now we're gonna pat it dry and then I'm gonna use a little bit of oil and pepper and garlic salt and basically just kind of crust the outside not completely crust because we don't want like a heavily peppered bacon but we're just gonna give it like a little you know, a little crust and 
smoke it up. It's a pretty thin pork belly, so I don't think it'll smoke for that long. But let's get to it. Oh, I'm gonna come stay so um, we're drawing that in the, uh, in the smoker so it cooks and tomorrow we're eating steak. You mean bacon. Bacon. Yeah, we're gonna cook steak tonight, but this is gonna be some bacon, right? Yeah. Yeah, what are we gonna put on the bacon? Are we gonna do some garlic salt? Yeah. Yep, we're gonna do some garlic salt, and then we're gonna add some more of this black pepper, right? What do you think? Yeah. Yep, and then we're just gonna put a little coating of oil on it to help this stuff stick to it while it smokes. So what do I do first? I'm just pour a little bit of this oil on it. Not much, doesn't need a lot. Just, just being used as a little binder. <laughs> and we're gonna just coat it with the oil. Yeah. I rinsed it off already. But we're not going to scrub it. A lot of the pepper has kind of set and stuck in there. <laughs> some of the salt is. So it's already going to be very salty. So we don't really have to add any salt. We're just going to add some garlic. Mm -hmm. Whoa, cool apron. Oh my goodness. Now? Okay, let me open it up. All right, now we're using a bowl this time. Let's sprinkle some of that onto this. Yeah. Use your fingers. Go like this. See, I see you're excited. Look like this. Yeah, there you go. No, look. Look at me. There you go. That spot right there is going to be very flavorful. It's starting to get a little dark out, but we're going to set this to smoke. Open the lid. And now we wait. All right, here it is. Smoker is ready. Temp is at 220, that's fine. We're gonna open this guy up. And I'm gonna put this on fat cap down. That's it, now we just wait. 150, internal. All right, our temperatures, we are sitting at about 154, 144. That should be good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have bacon. Let's pull it off. Is, guys. Hickory smoked garlic and pepper bacon. Let's cut this in half and get it vacuum sealed. Absolute freshest bacon. Still kind of warm off the smoker, but we gotta try a piece. All right, trying out the new bacon. flavor. Mm-hmm. That's really good. It's really good guys. And super easy to do. Tomorrow well, I think we don't I think one of the best ways to display how good bacon is is to throw it on BLTs. 
but that's what we're gonna do. And don't forget guys, you don't necessarily have to cut bacon in slices. You could dice it up and make like nice little chunks. So we're gonna try these guys out now once this is done cooking. <laughs> and Benny's gonna try some of the bacon that he helped make too. You like it? Yeah. Did you make that? Mm -hmm. That's what you did. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. We've got we've got bacon. Vacuum sealed. If you guys haven't used a vacuum sealer before and you're into cooking and prepping food and um, barbecuing, you need to get one because when you, what the best thing about these is you just freeze them. There's no air inside. They stay good for longer. I got bacon bits. I'm gonna fry these up. And I got two packs of bacon. So I'm gonna freeze one, throw it in the fridge. We're gonna cook some up tomorrow. So thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when I'm producing new videos. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.